Hi, great to see you on my channel. I'm Anastasia, I'm a luxury bag lover, collector, and I also own a consignment store and you can check out the available items following the link below. This video is for anyone who is considering getting a Chanel bag and kind of unsure which bag to get because there are three most popular Chanel bags that you might consider. Chanel Flap, Chanel 255, and a Chanel Boy. So which one to get, which one is better, which one keeps the value? Let's find out. Let's start from Chanel 255. I do have two currently in stock and one is a limited edition and well, normally, normally, Chanel 255 looks like this. It has this uh, typical lock uh, for a 255 bag and a very typical chain. It doesn't have leather in it, uh, unlike the classic flap. Well, this is my favorite all-time bag from Chanel. I know that some people prefer to have a flap um, to have this CC lock, well, this classic look of the bag. This 255 is my all-time favorite bag from Chanel. Uh, I love the classic uh, Chanel uh, 255 bags, which are also called reissue sometimes. I love something unique and I also love gold hardware and uh, I love this type of leather because it's much more durable than caviar. It's calfskin leather and uh, I can't believe that caviar is more popular than this. This bag is un literally undestroyable. You can't do anything to the uh, leather to scratch it or to make it look worse. But uh, here's another thing that I love about Chanel 255 bag. Uh, that was the first bag Coco Chanel designed and released herself. So it has this history and mystery inside, right? So that was first bag created uh, by her as a bag designer. So lots of reasons to actually love Chanel 255. The drawbacks of 255 overall, not this particular version, but overall 255, I really see that they are losing more value than classic flaps. I don't know if you agree with me, but I feel like their value is dropping. I mean, I was selling this bag for 2000 bucks and no one wanted it. I finally decided to leave it to myself because it's beautiful, it's amazing, it's unique and I'm not gonna give it out for less. I know there are some classic color combinations like black calfskin with gold and they, they tend to hold their value more or less. But still, uh, considering the retail price, which is, I guess, after a recent price increase, it's six to seven K, then selling it for less than three K doesn't have any sense. If you're purchasing this bag, I would really recommend you to purchase it pre-loved because you will save a lot. You will save several thousand, which is nice which is good. If you're buying it at the boutique, I would recommend you to pick up another bag, which is a classic flap. That's the only classic flap we currently have in stock. So that's a single flap classic Chanel bag. First of all, it's iconic. It's recognizable. It's even more recognizable, though it was created after Chanel 255. It's more recognizable and you, you will recognize the CC lock and the stitching. If you get this bag, you will definitely, everyone will know that you have a Chanel bag. Another reason to go for a classic flap is that they are holding the value. And uh, that's what I see. Uh, if reissues drop in price, then uh, classic flaps holding their value more, especially if that's either a classic combination like gold and uh, black caviar, or it's a rare limited edition, a uh, bag released only during one season. You may find a classic flap in a pretty shade of pink, or you may find an iridescent classic flap. Iridescent colors are very, very coveted, very popular. You always have a lot of people looking for them. So they are going above retail price usually, even above retail price. 
But uh, if you go for a classic color combo like gold and black, then I guess you will be fine and the bag will not drop in value. If you prefer different colors, then, well, beige is a, is a very classic color too, but uh, if you prefer like green or blue or <laughs> yellow maybe then you will have some trouble reselling them i know that most of my buyers buy bags for themselves with no intention to resell i'm just saying that uh, uh from the standpoint of whether it's a good investment if you buy a classic color combination that's a good investment it will it will keep the value if you haven't used the bag you will be able to resell it for almost the same price or if you resell it in several years even more because chanel increases prices every year and we just went through another price increase in the us i would recommend you to get a classic flap in a classic color or in a color that you fell in love with and you know that you will be using it for several seasons if not all your life from the functionality standpoint and size difference standpoint they are pretty much the same because the 255 line has many sizes to choose from the chanel flap uh, line has a lot of sizes too so you can pick up the size that uh, suits your needs better and well they look approximately the same the chain looks different but the bags themselves are pretty much similar then there is a bag that looks different and it's a chanel boy and uh, if 255 and classic flap were developed by coco chanel herself chanel boy was created after she died and uh that's a carl lagerfeld creation and uh that's a bag that is quite popular it's one of the most iconic chanel bags if we take a look at it, that's what it looked like. It's also very nice. It can be a crossbody and it can be a shoulder bag if you shorten the strap. By the way, this strap is large, but uh, it, it's not heavy. It's very lightweight. So don't think that you will carry a lot of weight on your shoulder. So that's uh, what the bag looks like. And there are also different sizes and uh, you can, uh, opt for a boy mini or large boy. I'm not sure if they are produced now, but you definitely can find one per loved. Considerably larger than uh, this medium size. What can I say about this? I was a boy fan because I believe that's an iconic piece and uh, I was very young, so a classic flap didn't appeal to me. I didn't want an investment piece that I would leave to my children and then my grandchildren would inherit it from my children, right? I was only looking for a nice bag. And boy, is very nice. The pros are you can find it almost in any size, any color, any leather that you want. Um, because that's a classic piece that is produced every year. And if you go pre-loved, then you can find a lot of Chanel boys. But then come the disadvantages. And the first con would be, I'm not really a fan of this flap. Let me show it to you. I, I bet you've seen it already. The flap is quite heavy, which makes the bag crook. That's the first. Second, boys, boys also lose value of course that depends on the edition that depends on, on the boy but uh, from what i see their retail price is about 5k maybe even more right now and they are going for two and a half and still no one buys it why i don't know because that's a classic piece and if we're talking about this particular boy it's a classic color we just listed it uh, so if you like the bag, you can buy it. But overall, I've listed several dozens of Chanel boys and I can't say there is a huge demand and many people are looking for these bags. It seems like everyone wants a classic flap and uh, don't want to spend that much uh, are considering the boy. Maybe it's just my thoughts, right? Let me know what you think. Which one would you buy out of these three bags? What would be your choice? Well, my choice is a Chanel reissue. Well, my criteria are obviously can be met by a boy or a flap, a classic flap too. What I love about the design is the absence of 
big Chanel logos. I'm not a fan of logos. I don't like logos on Louis Vuitton's classic monogram canvas. And I don't like a lot of logos on, on bags. And this bag is obviously a classic Chanel. I'm more than okay that it has a small embossing here and that's it. No other logos, please. Then I would highly recommend you to get a classic double flap in the medium size. And uh, that would be a perfect investment bag because the prices are up, go up every year and uh, there's always someone looking for it. So go get yourself a black caviar with gold hardware or beige caviar with gold hardware. By the way, have you noticed that gold hardware is more expensive on the resale market and more coveted too? So if you are listing a bag with a silver hardware or platinum hardware, they're not as popular as a bag with a gold hardware. Maybe, maybe that's just me, but share your thoughts in comments. Now, eventually, if you love the design of Chanel Boy and you feel like this bag is for you, get a Chanel Boy because you have a variety of sizes and colors to choose from and you will finally find the one that you really love. That was it. I hope you made the choice and uh, you know which bag to get. Uh, share your decision in comments. I'm excited to hear from you. I'm excited to read your comments and thank you. Thank you for likes, uh, for subscriptions. I hope the video was useful. See you next week. Bye.